right, all right. Welcome, everybody, to our 2021 Toyota Series presented by ARE Northern Division. This is stop number two here at the beautiful St. Lawrence River. Been a great week. We started the week off with 144 pros, 144 co-anglers. Uh, we paid checks yesterday, 11th through 36th. Today it is top 10 day championship Saturday. Up for grabs on the co-angler side, which we're going to weigh in first is a brand new Phoenix 518 Pro with a 115 horsepower Mercury outboard. We're going to get our way in started here just in a few minutes, but before we do, we got a lot of thank yous. You can see the golf carts uh, running around the town of Messina has rolled out the red carpet for us again, as always. Uh, Tom Miller, Don Miser, all the crew right here on the golf carts. You see them out here in the rain this afternoon. They've been here three straight days, way before daylight and nearly to dark each afternoon. So, Tom, Don, thank you guys for having us. Can't wait to come back. We've already got our schedule out for 2022. We're coming right back here again next September. Cannot wait. You guys have seen the fish. This is a phenomenal fishery. You guys have got a special resource here. You guys do a super job managing it, taking care of it. Can't wait to get back. Our staff this weekend, right down here to the left-hand side of the stage, Ramey and Kathy Long. They're responsible for this weigh-in trailer, do a great job for us, pull this trailer to each and every event, everything except for the division tournaments, do a fabulous job for us, glad to have Ramey and Kathy here with us this weekend. Inside the office, taking care of all the computer needs, Taylor Jones is the tournament administrator, everything from the bump station to the scales, the live feed, the leaderboard over my left shoulder, he's inside the inside the office there behind the scenes. Nobody ever gets to see him or talk to him, but man, he's the brains behind the whole operation, doing a fabulous job. And our live release boat all weekend here, Josh Peck right here, doing a great job with fish care this week, along with his sidekick, Mark Gouin. He's down there on the release boat as we speak. So thanks to all these guys and friends. Stefanik was here in the check-in boat. First two days, we've sent him back to Plattsburgh uh, gave him the rest of the weekend off. So thanks, Fran, if you're watching. You and Holly, great to see you guys. You guys ready to weigh some fish? Gonna give a boat away. Y'all ready? All right, let's do it, Rami. Y'all ready? No, we're not ready. Give me Sakai Ushio up here first. I'm getting out of order. Let me get Sakai up here. Where's he at? Comes around one liter. On the co-anger side, he's caught almost 20 pounds per day. He's sitting on top of the leaderboard after two days of fishing. He had a top 10 at Champlain a few weeks ago. Here we are, St. Lawrence River. Sakai has caught 39 pounds, 12 ounces of bass. Without giving away anything about what's in your bag, you're going to have the final say, the last co-angler to weigh in. Days one, day two, Sakai, how do we catch our bass this week? Um, we're just uh, drifting a river and um, yeah, I use like a free rig and a net rig and yeah, I'm from Buffalo and I live close to Niagara River, so I'm doing the same thing like uh, last few years. So it was like, feel like an odd tournament, like just having fun every single day and then catching them, you know. You feel like you're close to home here, fishing fishing your strengths here. Feels good to come out here and get to do what you're comfortable doing. Um, feel comfortable out here fishing the, 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 the small now? Yeah, um, like it's, my backyard I feel like, you know, like, and uh, today I went to our lake, like I, I fish a lot of Lake Erie too, so um, this here's like, yeah, my field. That's right, man, he's comfortable right here, he's used to the big water. Before we let you go back to the weigh-in line and we get this started, you got anybody in this great crowd standing out in the pouring down rain or back home watching on Major League Fishing Live? Oh. Got any friends watching at home? Yeah, Melissa, Taka, my, um, I hope I win this. <laughs> See what's going on, all right? All right, well, good luck to you. All right, Ramey, now we're ready. We're going to start at the bottom. Start with our 10th place co-angler. We'll work our way to the top. Sakai is going to have the final say as to who wins that Phoenix boat. So here we go. All right, here we go. Dane Anderson coming to see me. Went out boat number 10 this morning. He's out of Hudson, New York. Brought 15 pounds, 9 ounces of bass on day 1, 17, 11. Yesterday, put yourself in that top 10, ready to go on day 3. 
Five in the bag. Let's see what they weigh. Five today, Dane. 15 pounds. One ounce going to put you up to 48 pounds and five ounces. Man, a great week for you. A top 10. Break it down for us. How do we catch these St. Lawrence bass this week? Uh, he pretty much summed it up before. We were in the river drifting, uh, drop shot, Ned Rick. Uh, same deal. How many keepers for you here on the river? Three days of fishing. How many keepers for you? Uh, say 40. 40 keepers. Pretty special out there. Do you lose any key fish? I mean, went from 10th to 1st right there, but just a few pounds behind. You're not going to win this event, but did you lose any key fish throughout the week that right now, like, man, I wish I had that one? No, I fished uh, pretty clean uh, the most of every opportunity. Uh, you know, just glad to fish for three days. Absolutely, man. You got anybody in this crowd standing out in the rain watching us or back home watching on live? Uh, yeah, I just want to uh, thank my wife for holding down the fort uh, while I'm up here fishing. She's home taking care of the house and dogs. All right, congrats to you. A top 10 for you. Payday for you. All right, Rami, who's next? Paul Mello coming up next on the co-anger side. He's out of Hudson, Massachusetts. The huge bag on day one. Set the pace for you with 19 pounds, 10 ounces of bass, 14 one yesterday, Paul. Tell me we got five more. You got five here? I got five. Yep. He's got five. The name of the game, he's got the limit. We need 14 10. Take over the lead. Go from ninth to first. You got 14 10 here? I think so. I should. All right, let's see what he's got. Five in the bag. Looking for 14 10. Where'd it go? We got 16 pounds, six ounces, up to 47 one. All right, man. A great job. I did put you in second place. I think I read that number wrong there. Sorry about that. But, man, break it down for us. A great week for you. Went from ninth to second right there with your day three bag. So, how do we catch our bass this week? Uh, just a typical drop shot, uh, flat worms, Ned Rig. Uh, but Drove the fish were on the drop shot. On the drop shot, what are you? You mentioned the, the, uh, the flat worm out there. What's your favorite color out there? Uh, up here was the Gobi color. Gobi? Yeah, it seemed to dominate. How many keepers for you? Three days? Three days, uh, I want to say around 30. Wow. Good fishing out there. But it's a great week. It's payday for you. Got you all the way to second place. Before we let you go, bring our next co-angler up. You got anybody in this crowd watching you here today? I know, and I just want to say hi to all my family and friends back home. Um, special thanks to CCS Concrete and my cousin Mike Cabral and uh, my dad in heaven. Congrats, man. Great week for you. have got a paycheck coming your way. Appreciate you being here, man. Went to second place. Sean Gokey coming up next. Good looking bag of fish. He's out of Georgia, Vermont. 19 pounds on day one. 15 pounds yesterday. This may be your best bag of the week, man. Save the best for last. I see, man. That's awesome. So, we got five in the bag, obviously. A huge bag of fish, man. How much do you think you got here? 21. Thinks he's got 21. That'll put you into the lead if that's the case. We've got five. Thinks he's got 21, and he does. He's got 22 pounds and four ounces. Let's hold a couple up, man. Great big bag of fish. Save the best for last, man. Day three coming in with your biggest bag of the week. Let's see a couple of them. That's how you do it on day three. Let's weigh that one in your left hand just so we know. We don't have big bass for today, but let's see what she weighs. Man, that fish weighs five pounds and six ounces. Five, six on your kicker on day three, man. Put those fish back in the water. Let's talk about your week, man. That's how you get it done right there. Save your best bag for day three. How did we catch them this week, man? Well, my, I caught them on a drop shot, caught them on a net rig, and a tube very little, but a couple on a tube. Lost a couple fish yesterday and one i would like i would have liked today but it's kind of how it goes uh my boater today we were headed we were going to do a long run and he made an audible and we stayed close and got to fish a long day and it worked out for it worked out man i see that you said you lost one today that would have helped your bag i think well just ounces just ounces but it takes a lot i mean these guys you know who you're going up against um it's it makes a big deal it makes a real big deal just one fish Yep, man, one fish. Ounces count here. Uh, any final words? Anybody in this great crowd or watching you back home you want to say hey to? No, nope, my, uh, sorry. My wife um, back home, Amy, and my mother, uh, they're all watching. And my boys back in Vermont, um, I don't know. We did our best. We're going to hope for the best. We'll never know. Absolutely, man. Congrats to you. Big payday for you, man. I got a weight ticket for you right there coming out of the...
All right, Bradley Saunders coming up next on the Cole Angler side out of Scotttown, Ohio. 17 7 on day one. Been super consistent. 17 7 on day one. 18 13 yesterday. We're climbing. Today, we need 20 pounds. He just set the bar way up there. You got your best bag of the week today? Not today. Let's see what he's got, though. Another respectable bag for sure. Five in the bag for day three. Going to weigh 16 pounds even. We're going to 52 pounds and four ounces all the way to second place. Thank you, Don. Great week, man. Congrats, first of all. A second place uh, right now. Still got a few guys coming up behind you. But a great week. What a place here, man. Uh, it's a great place. How many keepers for you? Three days of fishing? I'd say 40. 40 keepers, man. So we got a great crowd out here standing in the rain just to watch you guys weigh these fish in. Got Especially got some young kids over here, some good young anglers coming up. If we're going to go on the St. Lawrence River tomorrow, give me one rod, one reel, one bait. What do I need? You need a green pumpkin flatworm. I might have figured. Great, great worm out there, man. Anywhere you go up and down, the, the big water up here been a great bait for the last couple of years, man. But congrats to you. Anybody you want to say hey to watching at home or in this crowd? Yeah, I want to say hi to my boys at home. And uh, I want to say thank you to Charlie Hartley, Hartley, my day one boater. He taught me how to fish this current, and he's the reason I'm here today. Absolutely. He's here, too. We're going to weigh the pros in. He's had an awesome week. A great, great dude out there. Yeah, he's a great dude. We can have a blast. Absolutely. All right, we're back. Got some water in my mic, if you can believe that. We up and running now. All right, we are up to our sixth place co-angler out of Huntsville, Alabama. Alabama finds his way to New York, man. Tim Curran, 14-5 on day one. Caught his best bag of the week on day two. Post your ticket to top 10 championship Saturday with 22 pounds even yesterday. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But here we are, championship Saturday. Tim, have we got five? Got five. Got five. Let's see what the weight is. We need a big old bag. We need another 19-pound, 15-ounce bag. Your limit today, 12 pounds, 4 ounces. We're up to 48.9 for your three-day total, man. Let's back up a day. Day two, 22-pound bag, man. How do we catch those? Uh, drop shot with uh, flatworm and the uh, mega bass uh, jerk bait. What's the uh, little spy bait? There you go, has dong. Thank you. There you go. Charles knew. Yeah. Charles knows all the good stuff. Sleep deprived. Sleep. <laughs> Tired, man. You got the. I see you from Alabama. Got old tide covered hat, man. It's football season. You guys gonna have a football team this year? Uh, as long as Nick Saban is there, we're in good shape. <laughs> I'd say so. I'd say you're right, man. Let's get back to fishing. You talked about your, your drop shot, your, your mega bass back there. Lose any key fish. Obviously not going to win this event, but still got a chance for a top five. Lose any fish right now that's in the back of your mind. Like, man, wish I had that one to do all over again. Well, it wouldn't have made me win the tournament, but I lost a big one yesterday. A big one. And you had 22 pounds and lost a big one. How big are we talking? Uh, six. A six-pounder. None of that like that swimming around in Alabama, is it? No, my butter was reminding me of that, by the way. <laughs> All day long, man, like you needed to be reminded. All right, man, a great week for you. Payday for you, no matter what. Uh, any any final words for anybody in this crowd or watching back home on our live? Well, I'd like to give a shout-out to uh, Matt Greenblatt, my practice partner, who is recuperating from a uh, health issue at the uh, Champlain event. Uh, hopefully he can get better and uh, get back and start fishing these things again so we can uh, have a good practice partner. Uh, thanks to uh, Glenn.
uh, Babineau, who took me fishing when Green left not fishing. So I appreciate Glenn uh, letting me practice with him. And thanks to my wife, Zan, for uh, letting me come up here and fish. That's how you get it done right there. Well, congrats to you. Great week for you, Matt. Hopefully you're watching. We're thinking about you, man. We've talked to you, texted you a few times throughout the last few weeks. But get well, my man. Can't wait to see you back up here, Jarvis Ellis. Roll Tide just walked off the stage. Here comes a Go Dogs fan. I got a Jarvis Ellis out of Albany, Georgia. 19-2 on day one, 17-9 yesterday. How many for day three, Jarvis? How many in the bag? We got the limits. Yeah, I got five. He's got five. Got any of the right ones? Not the right side. Not today, man. You had two great days, though. Put yourself in contention to win that brand new Phoenix boat with a five best tournament limit on day three, eight pounds, nine ounces. We're going to hold tight right there at sixth place with 45 pounds and four ounces. Congrats. First of all, a great week for you, man. How do we catch them this week? If you caught them on a drop shot, flat one. No, Greg, we ain't even going to talk. Well, we don't need to talk yet because that's all I caught him on. I just caught him on a drop shot. I didn't throw a net. No net rig? Everything drop shot. On the drop shot. What are we catching them on the flat worm? Any particular color seem to be working better than the others? Um, I was using the brown back. Brown back. And, and I was using the Z-Man jerk shad. And how deep of water were you guys pulling those fish up from? Uh, like 25 to 30. Pretty deep. Deeper than anything we do in Georgia, right? Oh, yeah. Well, maybe Lanier. You can catch them deep on Lanier. Oh, yeah. Catch them deep in Lanier. All right, man. A great week for you. Congrats again. Anybody watching in this great crowd or back home on our live? Oh, yeah. I want to say hi to my family, um, my friends, my son, my wife that's watching right now. All right, man. Well, congrats to you. Great week. Got a way ticket for you right there coming out of the printer. There you go. All right, here we go. We're to the top five now. Chris Hurley out of Pennsylvania on the cool angler side. 14-15 on day one. A huge bag yesterday. Day two caught the 22-pound bag. Punch your tickets to top 10 championship Saturday. I'm going to just go on a limb. You got five here, Chris? Yes, sir. Got five. Let's see what they weigh. We need 19.5. Your limit today is going to weigh 13 pounds, 8 ounces. We're up to 50 pounds and seven ounces of St. Lawrence River smallmouth in three days, man. What a place. Yeah, it's a happy day. Some, day, some days you're the windshield, some days you're the bug. And yesterday, man, you were the you were the windshield yesterday. Yeah, call me splat today. <laughs> I understand, man. Well, round it up for us. How do, we, how do we catch our bass this week? Everything on a drop shot, and I could not buy a fish on what everybody else was fishing with. So what do we, what do we got going on then? I caught uh, keepers on probably 10 different baits. How deep of water are you guys fishing? Uh, we were anywhere from 12 to probably 40. 12 to 40 feet. So you got to get out there in that deep water. Did you guys make the long run or stay close? First day we did uh, stay close in the last two days. All right, man. Well, that's to you. Great week. Before we let you go, anybody you want to say hey to? Yeah, just want to uh, thanks for all you guys for uh, helping around here, the golf carts and setting us up. It makes life a lot easier for us. Uh, thank you guys for putting it on. Say, uh, Hey to all my friends at home, thank you for the support and uh, well wishes and a special shout out to Sherry. Uh, appreciate you and uh, couldn't do it without your help. All right, man, it's payday for you. Congrats on a great week. Got your way ticket right there. All right, we're to the third place. Co-angler out of Lexington, Kentucky. Clay Reese, the huge bag on day one, set the pace. After day one, you're like, man, I got this. I'm on my way with a 21 pound three ounce catch. Day two, pumped the brakes just a little bit, still slid in there with 16 pounds, 12 ounces of bass. Here we are, day three, Clay. How many we got in the bag? Only got three. Only got three. Let's see what they weigh. They need to be three big ones. We got three good keepers in the bag. Gonna weigh nine pounds, four ounces, for a 47, three. In the sixth place, Clay. So we dropped a little bit, man, but uh, got to hear about it, man. I know it's not great to talk about it, man, but a tough day three. Come in shy of the limit. Did you lose those other two fish? You know, no, I really don't know what happened. I just didn't have the opportunities today. But uh, what a phenomenal fishery. No doubt. Yeah, this is <laughs> my first trip up here. It will not be my last. Um, I've enjoyed it. Absolutely, man. It's a, it's a super place here. What did we catch our bass on? You had the, the huge day, uh, day one, drop shot, and I'm guessing like everybody else, or how do we catch them? Yeah, actually, uh, I caught most of mine on a Ned rig. Uh, and a drop shot, caught a couple key fish yesterday on a, on a vibrating jig. Um, but yeah, that was, that was it. All right, man. Any final words for anybody in this crowd or back home watching on our live? 
Yeah, I just want to say shout out to the crew. They've been great this week. I uh, want to say hi to my wife and my parents uh, watching back home. And uh, I'll be home in about 24 hours. About a day. We'll be there. We'll be right behind. Congrats. Great week. Got your weight ticket right there. So here we go. We're getting down to the skinny of it now. Two left on the co angler side. Getting ready to crown us a champion. Lady Baird says, I want to take that Phoenix boat home. It's between you, Sean Goki, on top of the leaderboard, and Sakai Ushio. One of you three guys. Got a big check back there for a Phoenix 518 Pro with a 115 Mercury outboard. Lady Baird, out of Virginia, 1815 on day one. That wasn't good enough. He went out and caught 2013 on day two. So here we are, day three. You can pump the brakes today. You can have your worst day of the week right now and still take over the lead from Sean Goki at 56 pounds, four ounces. Do you have the limit? I do. Got anything over four pounds? One. Uh-oh. What are the rest of them? Three pounders? Maybe. Maybe. Could be close. Then we need 16 pounds, eight ounces to go from second to first. He's all over it. But Sean Goki is safe. We got five at 15, 14. We're going to hold our spot at second with 55 pounds and 10 ounces. Let's hold a couple up. You want to? You got a good one in there. I can see it through the bag. Let's show that four pounder off. Couple of them. There you go. Second place, Lenny Baird. Just hang tight right here. He'll be right back with that bag, and then we'll talk about your week. So Sean Goki, where's Sean Goki at? Feeling okay over there? No? Why not, man? You saw what I saw, didn't you? All right, back to Lenny. A great week, man. Second place right now, one guy to go. So we're guaranteed some hardware, man. A great old big check for your work out here. And this doesn't even seem like work. It is, but this is fun work right here. And it? Yeah, it's, it, it's a lot of fun, but that ride. Whew. Tell me about your ride for today. How far did you guys go? Uh, all the way till I couldn't see land. <laughs> couldn't see land. So I'm guessing you guys visited the folks at the gas station today. Yeah. Just once, so? Just once. Just once. All right, man. But it was a big one. I guarantee you. I've got a big fuel bill for the week, man. These pros have uh, put it all out there for you co-anglers today. So you guys owe it all to them, man. These guys are around the fish and, and let you guys catch them behind them. What's your number one bait this week? Drop shot. Drop shot, man. If you're doing fishing on the river, go to Walmart, get you some drop shot stuff. And, and what do we need? To, what kind of plastic? What kind of what? What kind of plastic on your drop shot? Uh, flatworm. Flatworm. What else is there, right? Uh, today, there's something coming. Something coming. I, I, seen, I seen something today, and it's coming. So. All right, man. Who'd you fish with today? Uh, Corey Johnson. Corey Johnson. He's got a secret? He does. Think he'll tell us about it in a little bit? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see, man. Well, congrats to you. Great week. Before we let you go, anybody you want to say hey to? Yeah. Hey to everybody out there watching. Family, friends. Thanks to Green Top, Mayor of Aquire, Mercury Outboards. That's about it. All right, man. Congrats. A great week. Payday for you, man. A top five, no matter what. All right, Sean Goki, come see me, man. We're going to crown us a champion. We're going to give us away a Phoenix boat. Marie Zero. Come on, Sockeye. It's your time, man. Your time to shine. All right, I'm going to cover that up. Nobody can see. Man, did you see that? You saw it. I felt it. I felt it when I hit the stage. Like, boom, the load. So here we are. Sean Goki right now on my left. You guys is right on top of the leaderboard. 56 pounds, four ounces of bass. Sockeye Ushio. The final say. Saka, do you have a boat at home? Yes, already I bought a uh, Camus CX-21, so... A fine boat, man. Yeah. So, the only thing better than having one boat at home is having two boats at home. Yeah, that sounds great. I'm got a week you got a weekend boat and a weekday boat. Yeah, like, uh, I give it to my son. Give it to your son? I do boy. Hope the son's watching at home. Yes, but... Problem is, he's three years old, so. Well, <laughs> hey, what three-year-old don't need a Phoenix bass boat, right? All right. Sean, you ready for this? He needs a big bag. He's caught 20 pounds, 15 ounces on day one, 18, 13 yesterday. He needs 16 and a half pounds. 16 and a half. Have you got five? Uh, I'm nervous. Um, got five fish in the bag? Yes, yes. Got five. Let's see what's going on. Anything, you got any four-pounders in here? Yeah, a little, oh, yeah, five. Fives? Five.
got some fives in here. Fives in here, he says. Let's see, he's need 16 pounds, eight ounces. Listen to this. Your champion, Sakai Ushio, with a limited bass, 22 pounds, nine ounces, 62 pounds, five ounces. The bass, the handshake, the sportsmanship in our game is second to none. As you see right there, let's see a couple of these. Let's see that five pounder. And don't run off. We got a lot of pictures to take. A trophy, a check, and some five pound smallmouth out of the St. Lawrence River. Look at that, folks. Let's weigh that one in your right hand just for fun if you want. Set her in there. I said it was a five pounder, and she's every bit of it. How about a six pounder? Six pounds, one ounce on the kicker on day three, man. Your champion. Let's put these back in the water. Look at there. I caught me a six pounder today, too. Did you see that? Your champion, Sakai Ushio, out front and center. Big round of applause. He made the rain quit with that bag of fish. All right, one more, Sakai. How about this one? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Three year old son at home got him a brand new Phoenix boat with a 22 pound, nine ounce catch on day three. All right, man, let's set that down. Let's talk some more. You talked, you started to weigh in off, but now the dust is settled, man. We got a top 10 at Champlain, got the win here, this win, no matter what happens at the Potomac. Punched your ticket to the Toyota Series Championship at Pickwick in October. So another chance, a free chance at another Phoenix boat down there this fall. Um, I would love to have that. But Let's go. Yeah. yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> All right, he'll be there. We'll see you there, man. We're going to see you at the Potomac as well. Oh, yes, yeah. I'm going to be going to be battling for that angler of the year spot. Going to got to be way up there with a top 10 and a win here. Yeah, on uh, 2018, I almost there and uh, some guy beat me and then I end up fourth. But I, I would love to have it first place this year, you know, so. That comes with another $2,000 check for the Strike King Cool Angler of the Year. Sounds awesome. Sounds awesome, no doubt, man. Who don't need two thousand dollars? Congrats to you. Any final words? I mean, you broke it down for us at the start of the way in. Anything else for this great crowd before we let you go? Oh yeah, um, I back there and I hear a lot of people using the drop shot, but I hate a drop shot, so that's why I'm always using the free rig to call like the free sinker and then like the offset hook Texas rig, and then like the key is like I using a big gee crack bellows stick oh, oh, oh i should not tell him uh, <laughs> no go ahead man it's your, it's your party tell him whatever you want to tell him yeah because i want this information because that bait is amazing you know it's like smell and then even flavor in there and the fish is not let them go it's so, making me hungry yeah as their sale taco warehouse so everybody can you know be have chance for our phoenix boat you know sponsor plug for tackle warehouse that's how you do it right there <laughs> yeah i'm ready for the sponsor but, yeah. <laughs> hope, hope somebody at tackle warehouse is watching you're getting it done right now yeah <laughs> thank you all right man congrats a great week you're more than welcome to take your check your trophy another big round of applause for your co-angler champion saka ushio got a weight ticket you're okay there's your weight ticket man hang on to that $33,500 bass boat right there going home with Sakai Ushio. We're going to take a short break. Make sure we got all our pros up here lined up. We're going to do that again. First, on the pro side, we're going to change gears. It's going to be a check before any kind of contingencies kick in. $37,548 up for grabs here in just a matter of about a half hour. We'll be right back with you in just a minute.